Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. Some of the rookies now getting their feet wet, Mike, in the NBA. What are some of the more difficult adjustments to make as an NBA rookie? Learning all the rotations and defensive nuances off the court, the travel, being away from the family, and on and on. And do you, do you give them to it in, in small portions? Do you try to lay the whole thing out in front of them? How, what's the timing of things like that? And you understand, Kevin, that when the race begins, you got to stay up with the rest of the people or your horse is finishing last. <laughs> that's, that's a tough place to be. They get a hand on it, and out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Here's Law against Indiana. He was really on his game. Left side, Gonzalez. Pass to Purdue. Magic moving the ball around. Kick it out, man. Kick it out. Shoot. Gonzalez against King. Tipped away and stolen by Payton. Elliott passes to King. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Visible move by King in the paint. Taking it to the defense and getting the whistle. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Stacy King taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The sixth overall pick in the 1989 draft, Stacy King is a very talented big man. He's perfect from the line this time. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Perkins against Peyton. Perkins, the pass to O'Neal. Can't connect from short range. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Spurs. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Orlando. Last season, they got swept in a two-game season series against this opponent. I'm sure they're looking for payback tonight. This was one of the few opponents who really stuck it to them during what was otherwise an excellent season for them. You're right. They've got to have revenge on their minds tonight. And looking at that replay again, just a big-time block right there. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. Now, here is Oakley. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Passes to Purdue. Here's Law. He's guarded by Marley. Law, the pass to O'Neal. And so Orlando again turning it over. Here's San Antonio now. Peyton looking around. Whistle blows. If that's going to be a travel. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Here's Law. He's guarded by Marley. Pass to Purdue. Now Shaq. Right wing. Outside Perkins. Four on the clock. Knocks it loose. It's taken away by Peyton. 
a miss that time would have put him up. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. There's the pass to Gonzalez. To the middle. Here's Law, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Oh, the reverse. Yeah. I don't think the D saw that coming, Clark. High-level stuff, guys. Now here's Marlon. 17 points in his last outing. It's deflected. Here's King. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Here's Law. Screened by O'Neal. Law kicks to Shaq. Here's Gonzalez. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboards. Marley dishes to Oakland. Pass to Payton. Oakley a screen on Perkins. Here's Payton. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Nice defense by O'Neal. You see the length and quickness of the ball. There's the lob to the hoop. And the dunk by O'Neal. Okay, now the youngster is just showing off. O'Neal finishes with the oop. Spurs trail by four. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Their last game a win against the Lakers. Looking to carry it into this one. And winning on the road is easier said than done. But the way they capitalized on offense especially stood out to me. They knew their game plan going into that one and followed it through to a T. Superb work all around. Here's Peyton. They picked up 24 points in their last win against the Lakers. And his passing was just on another level entirely. He was dissecting the defense with his ball movement and getting his guys great looks. Here is Elliott trailing by four. Now Purdue. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes it to Gonzalez. Over Peyton. Gonzalez, that's good. Getting aggressive and creating a second chance opportunity. Exactly what coaches want to see. Now here's Marlon. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. Perkins against Peyton. Just five on the clock. Perkins pulls it in. Magic leading by six. It's tipped. On the wing, Peyton. 
covered by Perkins. Payton passes to Marley. Shot from the wing. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Shaq down low. He's against King. Shaq's shot is off. Incredible effort defensively. No easy buckets. Here's Peyton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Fearless stuff from Peyton on that play. Go right into the coverage to make sure he gets sent to the line. For San Antonio, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Good from Peyton. Known as both a lockdown defender and legendary trash talker, Peyton plays with an edge that is infectious and annoying. The Spurs making a switch here. Mills has checked in. And both free throws good for Peyton. Orlando leading by four. Outside, Perkins. Pass to Gonzalez. That's good and a nice assist from Wall. Gonzalez has got eight. They don't hesitate when they get their opportunity to punch it inside. It's Peyton high post. Perkins on him. Peyton passes to Elliott. And there's the call on H. That's foul number two for him. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away three points at the line. And now the first timeout called here for the Spurs. Woods checked in for the match. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Reed's checked in. There's the dish to Mills. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Outside, Perkins. The pass to Gonzalez. Shoots over Mills. Good on the 13-footer. And that's 10 points for A-Train. 
Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. Peyton against Perkins. Pulls it from 20. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Pass to Purdue. Gonzalez against Marley. Rejected by Gonzalez. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. San Antonio making the switch here. Arlen's checked in. And the Spurs with possession. Eight point game. They set the pick. Passes it to Reed. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. And take a look at the Magic. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. Here's Law. Inside, here's Gonzalez. The basket good off the assist from Law. And now it's a 10-point Orlando lead. They could not have asked for a better start. This is looking like a no contest already. Arlen with it. Now guarded by Hood. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Orlando? Two shots. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And he's been locked in from the line. Proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. Pass to Gonzalez. He kicks to Barrett. Now the pass to Johnson. Shoots over Mills. No good. And the Spurs going the other way now. Here's Chapman. Pass to Mills. Over Johnson. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. That close in with his height advantage, that's a gimme right there. Yeah, other guys might pass on that look, but he knows he has the touch for it. Gonzalez, that's good. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Spurs trail by eight. San Antonio calls timeout. A-train with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down.
Marley kicks to Garland. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball call. Here's Frazier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Magic lead by 10. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they put it to good use. Now, here's Garland. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Now, here's Reed. D right on him. Gonzalez against Garland. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send him to the line than allow an easy layup. Orlando shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And so he hits both. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Spurs trail by 12. That one wide left. So the Magic, their last game, a win against the Pacers. Here's Frazier. Hits the target from 18 feet. Frazier's got his second bucket. From the opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Now here's Marlon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Chapman. Frazier covering. Chapman's shot is off. Normally, he knocks that down. The defense got a gift. Passes it to Johnson. Gonzalez down low. He's guarded by Marlon. And that one is stuffed right through. Going inside with purpose and on a mission. Making it happen in tight. Yeah, the intensity is outstanding. And high percentage looks are a great way to build a lead. You know, using his size advantage there to rip down that board in traffic. One thirty-five left here in the first quarter. Frazier the pass to Gonzalez. They get it back. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. Magic leading by 18. Pass to Frazier. Chapman with the rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First foul. The Magic shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting for Orlando. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Orlando making some changes. Young comes in for Barrett. And it's Perkins in for Gonzalez. The Spurs also with the sub. Anthony's checked in for Marley. He doesn't get the second one. Spurs trail by 19. Here's Chapman. 
Kicks it out to Garland. Good on the three-point shot. Garland's got five points so far. Well, he's consistent from out there, especially when you give him room. Frazier the pass to Perkins. Hood setting the pick for Perkins. Hood can't get it to go. And it's Anthony with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Mills finds Garland. Got a hand on it. Johnson with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Well, you can see all of the practice they put in to perfect that one. What a play. You said it. Making it look easy, aren't they? And even if you sense it's coming, it's hard to stop. Garland, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Orlando holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? Well, the goal clearly for them has been to attack the paint and get that ball inside every chance they get. And I just love how aggressive they were in that first quarter getting inside. It's paid off, and I'm sure they'll keep at it. Spurs trail by 18. Let's it go from the wing. He squares up and sinks it. Garland's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Spurs. Outside, Perkins. It's Barrett on the wing. From past the arc. That shot, no good. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Mills looking it over. There's Garland. The rebound by Young. Orlando leading by 16. Here's Law. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. Perkins against Garland. contact on that one so he'll shoot two here that was an easy call on that shot refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times on the night he's gone two for two at the strike at the line for two First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Orlando leading by 16. Outside, Perkins. Young, a screen on Garland. Just his first attempt. Charles Oakley grabs the miss. Oakley's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside, Garland. Oakley against Young. Oakley passes to Elliott. Screen by Oakley. Shot clock at five. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. There's Garland. It's hauled in by the Magic. Perkins got four rebounds now tonight. Floats it up for Young. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Peyton dishes to Garland. Peyton up top. 
defended by Young. Lock at six. Oakley passes to Elliott. The three. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Guys, I'm at a loss for words. What was that? For the Magic. O'Neal's checked in for Longley. Hood comes in for Young. And it's Purdue in for Barrett. Marley's checked in for San Antonio. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Perkins, the pass to Purdue. Stolen by Marley. Takes it off the glass. Yeah, Marley. And Marley, boy, I tell you what, he does a nice job being creative inside, exploiting any holes close to the basket. Shaq with the screen. The pass to Purdue. Here is Shaq. He's guarded by Marlin. Here's Shaq. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Shaq's got his second basket. Shaq is pretty much automatic whenever he gets within 10 feet of the hoop. Here is Elliott. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Lakers. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Marley kicks to Payton. Just five to shoot. Over Perkins. Payton can't get it to go. Orlando leading by 16. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Poked away. Stolen by Marley. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Magic have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Law. Feeds it to O'Neal. The basket good off the assist from Law. Law's got three assists now in this one. Spurs trail by 18. Pass to King. Hood against Oakley. On the wing, Peyton. Oakley a screen on Perkins. Offensive rebound. And Charles Oakley out there with the slam. This is Oakley doing his thing. Battling on the boards and then instinctively sending it back. Here's Law. He's guarded by Marlin. Hood trying to break free and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Marlin. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw no good and no good on the second free throw so he goes over two there he does not look very comfortable at the line this very well could be Shaquille O'Neal's kryptonite Perkins, the pass to Purdue. Driving inside. King with the block. Great D from King. That's his role on this one. Outside, Peyton. Releases. And he overshot that one, missing. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset to have with the way he shot so far. Law, the pass to Purdue. Magic moving the ball around. And there's Shaq. That's good on the assist by Perkins. 
Perkins got three assists tonight. Way too strong down low. O'Neal, a dominant force near the basket. Now here's King. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Here's Elliott, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Shaq. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. The Spurs have been a perfect 8-8 eight of eight at the line. And two shots. And he can't get the first one. Boy, Elliott scores in multiple ways. A very versatile small forward. Reed, he's checked in for Oakland. That one is no good. Orlando leading by 18. Here's Perkins. Great D that time from Peyton. The Spurs have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Marley kicks to Peyton. And he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. A part of Marley's game he is focused on? Playmaking. Putting work in on it. Now a timeout called by Orlando. making some changes. Gonzalez, he's checked in for O'Neal. Johnson comes in for Purdue, and it's Frazier in for Perkins. Orlando leading by 16. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Peyton against Frazier. Over to the wing. Here's Chapman. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Chapman's got his first basket of the night. Smart, tough, unselfish. Excellent find by Gary Peyton. Frazier kicks to long. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Gonzalez has got 22 points. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Here's Chapman. Outside, Peyton. Count the basket. Peyton's got six. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. 
Now here's Frazier. Johnson outside. Hood, the pass to Frazier. Magic moving the ball around. Dishes it to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Pass to Gonzalez. Ball's knocked loose. This one for three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. San Antonio making a switch here. Mills has checked in. Peyton outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Mills, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Long, and the turnover again by Orlando. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the West is stacking up. You look at San Antonio, advantage in one series. And here is Peyton. Six points for him. Here's Mills, and he slams it one-handed. That's what this team needs right now. You're right, cutting the deficit with the one-handed flush. Maybe that can give them a little spark. Pass to Gonzalez. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. And Orlando making a change here. Cummings is checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Anthony's checked in. Spurs trail by 12. Peyton outside. And there's the drive. And the pass to Reed. Six to shoot. Here's Peyton. Rejected by Gonzalez. Magic leading by 12. Here's your right side. Long. Rebound, San Antonio. You know, these are exactly the kinds of shots that kept me from coaching. This stuff drives a coach crazy. Yeah, a really horrible attempt. They can get much better looks than that. Now, here's Peyton. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Mills can't hit. The Magic have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Johnson dishes the long. Gonzalez down low, covered by Mills. Gonzalez, that's good. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Peyton against Frazier. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And Johnson now top of the key. Long kicks to Johnson. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Spurs. They trail by 14. Anthony sets the pick for Peyton. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. The feed to Frazier. Excellent D there from Anthony. Spurs trail by 14. Peyton passes to Anthony. Shoots over Frazier. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Terrific bounce. He gets knocked around and hits it anyway. He knew he had the foul. Figured out a way to get the shot off and it went in. The Spurs have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Young's checked in for Cummings. Barrett comes in for Johnson. And it's Perkins in for Frazier. Spurs also with the sub. Garland's checked in. That's good from Anthony. 
115 left in the first half. Garland against Perkins. To the wing right side. Here's Law. Back to Perkins. Five to shoot. And Young kicks to Barrett. Let's it go from deep. Garland with the rebound. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. Usually he takes full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him openings. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Orlando leading by 11. 30 seconds left in the first half of the game. Gonzalez passes to Barrett. Goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. Barrett's got his first bucket in this one. The lead pass. Executing one takes a high basketball IQ. Garland surveying the D. Anthony with the screen on Perkins. A three from Garland. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Magic. They lead by 13. Gonna step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. A-Train has been sensational. Incredible that already he's at a double-double and we still have half a game to go. You've heard of stuffing the stat sheet. Well, he's going to make it pop with the things that are going on for him. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Spurs trail by 13. Payton up top, covered by Perkins. Payton passes to Elliott. Over Purdue. Elliott the bucket. Elliott's got the first basket of the second half. That one for San Antonio. Perkins, the pass to Gonzalez. Here is Purdue. Here's Wall, out to the right wing. Here's O'Neal. Good, nice job down low. O'Neal's got 10. Stay aggressive. I don't ever like to see teams pump the brakes when they've got the lead. Stay aggressive, attack a fantastic way to pad your cushion. Absolutely. You know a run is coming. That's good, and the Orlando lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Gary Payton. Outside, Perkins. Gonzalez against King. Pass to Purdue. Six on the shot clock. Orlando moving the ball around. Cloak loose. Perkins against Payton. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Shaq. The Spurs have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Gary Payton. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good from Peyton. <laughs> Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. King with the steal. Perkins against Payton. Over Perkins. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Orlando leading by 10.
Rebound San Antonio. Oakley's got seven rebounds in the game. Marley kicks to Oakley. Peyton left side. Passes it to Elliott. Five on the clock. Over Purdue. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Marley passes to Peyton. With one second left, two on the clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. At the line for two. Two shots. That's good from Peyton. Free throws good for Peyton. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Perkins against Peyton. Here's Law. Here's Purdue. That's good and a nice assist from Law. Law's got four assists in the game. Spurs trail by 10. Outside, Peyton. Pass to Elliott. Now here's Marley. He dishes it to Oakley. Six to shoot. To the middle. Here's Elliott. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Magic leading by ten. He lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. The pass to Elliott. Over Purdue. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Magic have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Kicks it to Perkins. Pass to Gonzalez. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And hopefully that one-handed dunk gets him going. I think that's why he went for it. These guys need a boost, don't they? Yep. Especially in a game this close. No question. Purdue against Elliott. Back to Peyton. Pulls up. Again, the miss by the Spurs. You know, his scoring has just been a wall this quarter. I'm not sure what the issue is, but his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Screen by Oakley from deep. Peyton's shot is off. Orlando leading by 14. Outside, Perkins. Here's Purdue. No good on the triple. Purdue's gone one of three on the night. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Peyton outside. It's good from about 19 feet. Peyton's got seven points for the quarter. A master at dicing and slicing up defenses. Peyton excels at reading pick and rolls time out, time out. and capitalizing in them. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic.
So for the Magic, Bullard, he's checked in for Gonzalez. And Hood subbed in for O'Neal. And San Antonio also making a switch. Mills is checked in. Here's Hood. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. So the wing on the left. Purdue against Elliott. Purdue the pass to Perkins. Lays it up off the glass. Perkins got his first points of the night. Making the defense look powerless. I mean, taking it right inside for the bucket there. They better be. It has not been a good performance for him at that end of the floor. Now here's Peyton. 13 points in the game. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for Orlando. Shooting two. Good from Peyton. A different look now for San Antonio. Reed comes in for Charles Oakley. And it's Garland in for Elliott. He's off on the second. Magic leading by 13. Purdue the pass to Perkins. To the left side wing. From about 19 feet. No good off the back of the rim. I think there's way more they could have done there to try and open something up. Get something a little better. Yeah, they settled for a poor shot when they didn't have to. Now, here's Reed. Can't cash in from close range. Passes it to Purdue. Here's the drive. That one misses. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. On the wing, Peyton. He's guarded by Purdue. Here's Reed. And it's blocked. Now Purdue. Lost to Bullock. Perkins dishes the long. Back to Perkins. There's the pick. Here he goes. Banked in off the glass. Perkins got four this quarter. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pick allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Garland, that's for two. Here's the jump shot. Now here's Perkins. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Out left to the wing. To the inside. And stolen by Peyton. Down low. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here is Purdue. Covered by Mills. The Magic shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The first one falls. The Spurs making a switch here. Good on both. Garland with it. 11 points in the game. Anthony sets the pick for Garland. 
Now the pass to Reed. Spurs passing it around. Here's Anthony. Lock at six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And an easy call from the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. It's pretty obvious. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Free throw good from Anthony. Woods checked in for Orlando. Johnson comes in for Purdue. And so he's able to get one of two. Orlando leading by 14. Perkins down low, covered by Mills. Outside, Perkins. Here's Hood. That's in there. Perkins with the assist. Perkins got five assists tonight. Smart approach to this possession. Working the ball inside for a point-blank shot at the hoop. Now, here's Garland. 11 points in the game. They grab their own miss. It's good on the putback. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Outside, Anthony. Garland, the pass to Chapman. Now, here's Mills. Guarded closer. And he banks in the layup. Mills has got six. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. Johnson kicks to Perkins. Good, a screen on Garland. Perkins, the pass to Hood. And the shot is good. Seven points in the game. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Outside Garland. And the Spurs scoring again. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Outside Perkins. There's a good screen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Magic have shot five of eight from the foul line. Free throw drops for Perkins. So for the Magic, Longley comes in for Bullard. Young is subbed in for Hood. Elliott's checked in for the Spurs. And so Perkins nails both of them. San Antonio with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Anthony sets the pick for Garland. Over Perkins. Misses off the right eye. And Barrett has got the ball here for Orlando. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Johnson dishes to Perkins. And Young kicks to Johnson. Out to the right wing. Here's Perkins. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Johnson against Garland. 124 left to play in the third. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. 
that's a great way to energize your team. Right? I mean, the timing and the chemistry on display with that well-orchestrated alley-oop. And looking to even up the score. They're hoping that's the start of a run. Here are the Magic now. After the basket by San Antonio. Shot clock at six. Johnson, the pass to Young. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Spurs trail by 12. Anthony dishes to Garland. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Garland's got 15 points. Orlando, they've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Perkins against Garland. And he gets it back. Perkins with the bucket. Boy, they look confused and lost out there. Just getting out hustled every trip. And there's no excuse for that. You have to show more heart when it comes to closing out plays. Now, here's Garland. 15 points in the game. 11 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Anthony with the screen on Perkins. That one good for two. Garland's got eight points here in this quarter. And so it's Orlando with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. with three quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Shaq with the screen. Perkins kicks to long. To the paint. Here's Gonzalez. The basket good off the assist from long. Gonzalez has got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Orlando. Purdue against Elliott. Boy, giving up the body to make a play right there, that's really good defense. He read that to a T. Got there early and braced himself for the hit. Marley's checked in for San Antonio. Perkins against Peyton. Throws it up high. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Elliott passes to Marley. Here's Peyton. Rebound by the Magic. Gonzalez has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Elliott against Perkins. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pass to Peyton. Over Perkins. Peyton, good. Gary Payton. Peyton's got 10 points in just the second half. Orlando leading by 10. Passes to Gonzalez. And the layup's good off the glass. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Outside, Peyton. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Perkins against Peyton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Charles Oakley. He's off on the first. Yeah. 
And the second free throw, good. Spurs trail by 13. And here's Marley. There's the pick. Goes up from the top of the key. That one a little long. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Everybody sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you really hard to defend. Showing off the hook shot. 34 points for a train. Quality shot from mid-range there. They are clicking right now offensively. Well, when you've been successful in the paint and beyond the arc, that mid-ranger opens up. Kings check in for Charles Oakley. First team foul. In for the San Antonio. Stacy King. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here is Elliott. Just four to shoot. Again, the miss by the Spurs. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shots. Now here's Perkins. Shaq is screen on Peyton. King against Gonzalez. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Here's Purdue. He shoots again, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Battling for the second chance points there. That kind of effort is why they've got the lead. Defensively, they need to match that energy, or they'll have a difficult time getting back into this game. And that one misses. Spurs trail by 17. Hayden passes to King to end the run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Shaq. Boy, finding a way to be persistent with it. King not letting that physical defense affect him at all. At the line for two. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And he can't hit the second. Orlando leading by 16. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Perkins dishes the law. And stolen by Peyton. Floats one up. Rebound by the Magic. O'Neal's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Gonzalez. He feeds it to O'Neal. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over.
And now it's time for our presentation of the player of the game, A-Train. We saw outstanding focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. Guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Spurs trail by 18. Now Marley got a piece of it. Purdue with the ball. To the right side. And there's the pass to Law. Lock at six. Here's Gonzalez. That's good and a nice assist from Law. And that's now 38 points for A-Train. Their offense has really stood out. They're piling up the points and torching this defense. I like how under control they've been on offense. Keeping things simple and running their plays well. They're at the limit already. That to me is just lazy defense. Elliott against Purdue. Elliott kicks to Marley. Six to shoot. On the wing, Peyton. Covered by Perkins. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Orlando. At the line for the Spurs, Gary Peyton. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Peyton. Here are the magic now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Gonzalez. And he bangs it home with one hand. Playing well on both ends of the floor. Stifling defense and dangerous O. That's a heck of a combo. That's what has built this lead. Now, here's Peyton. He kicks it to Martin. Now, here's Mills. Guarded by O'Neal. Count it. Good. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. Passes it to Gonzalez. That's in there. Perkins with the assist. Perkins got his eighth assist in the game. You see why they lean on him night in and night out. Peyton outside. Inside. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force. And a pretty consistent defender as well. Now here's Perkins. Down low, Gonzalez. Plays it up and banks it in. Gonzalez has got 44. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pick allows him to get free and go right to the rim. San Antonio calls timeout.
And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Over Perkins. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And the Magic with possession. They're on a 19-7 run. To the inside. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Gonzalez has got 46 points. And uh, San Antonio shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. Payton passes to Mills. Over O'Neal. And that one hits back iron. It's been a one-sided affair for sure. It is obvious and clear who the better team is. Pulls it up. Payton on the double team. Kept alive. Gonzalez lays it up off the glass. Gonzalez has got 48. How about the quarter from him? On a tear. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Good checked in for Gonzalez. They swipe it. Here's Long. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. King with the block. Banks passes to Chapman. Picked by Anthony. Right side, Garland. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Well, Orlando shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting it. Here's O'Neal. It's good. O'Neal's got four points this quarter. When Shaquille O'Neal gets the position he wants inside, it doesn't matter what the defense does. He's putting it in the basket. Now, here's Garland. To the middle. Here's Anthony. That's tipped. Now, here's Perkins. And the basket by Purdue. Close range, high percentage looks will never go out of style. That's just strong, fundamental basketball. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. That's a little bit of icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show or they enjoy a big second-half lead. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. Pass to Law. Kicks it to O'Neal. It's tipped and stolen by Banks. Anthony, the pass to Chapman. And here is King. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. The Spurs making a switch here. Elliott's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, as you can see, when you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. For sure. I mean, playing loose can help you and hurt you. It can cut both ways. I think they've got to tighten it up a little bit here. Here's Anthony. Makes it off the glass. Well, I like the opportunistic attitude right there, as well as the aggressive finish inside. They are in complete control, coach, of this game. There's no question, without a doubt, they've been firing on all cylinders. In every way, you're right. Here's Law. From 11 feet away, and O'Neal gets it to go. I really like how they've worked to get the best shot. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Showing great patience there. A total team effort in this regard. Everyone working together and being selfless on offense. 
Elliott against Purdue. Looking to get back on track here. He blocks it again. And they get it back. Bucket is good. And here's Perkins. To the wing on the left. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Purdue against Anthony. Purdue the pass to O'Neal. Feeds to Long. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. An unselfish play from Shaq. Wanting to get it to his open teammates. Now Garland. Here's Anthony. Goes up again. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Charles hopes he's checked in for the Spurs. At the line for one. One shot. Free throw no good for Anthony. Well, Orlando shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And Shaq with the slam. Let's look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the match. This one was never really in doubt, Mike. They stayed firmly in control of the game throughout. A total success story. I agree. Things were just clicking for them out there. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for A-Train. Giving him the business all night. Felt he could get a buck at any time he wanted to. First free throw is good. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. The pass to O'Neal. Over Oakley. They get the rebound. And it's Anthony with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Perkins against Garland. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. He can't get it to go. Law, the pass to Perkins. To the wing right side. Purdue with the ball. It's picked off. To the inside. Garland nails the baby hook. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. Here's Law. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. Well, Clark, they put on a show for this home crowd playing with a lot of precision and just having their way out there at the end. Yeah, this place was buzzing on fire. The energy was overwhelming. Fun to watch, but not so much fun for their opponents. And that about wraps it up for our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.